Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. The sun may be out, but my guns are decidedly in, because for the first time in the history of Jank, I have escaped the judgment of the Jank tank. Feels good to be a winner. Now, hopefully we can make it happen three or four more times in a row. Now, for this episode, we're doing something a little bit differently. Against the wishes of my therapist, I took to Twitter this week, and I tweeted, twatted, a message to all loyal jank enthusiasts, asking them to send us their worst goat brews. And boy, did you all deliver. There was some truly heinous crap in there. No, I am not going to play Ojama King Turbo, but thank you for your recommendation. What's represented on this list are decks that are either mentioned on GoatFormat.com or were given to us in the comments of the Twitter post, and they're bad. They're really bad. So we've got Hinokagusuchi, which is a spirit monster you may be unfamiliar with. If it hits you with a direct attack, then it is able to discard your entire hand before your draw phase of the next turn. You're aiming to activate Giant Trunade to wipe your opponent's board and their hand at the same time. Dark... Hex Sealed Fusion is one of the first extra deck toolbox decks. It aims to go into either Dark Paladin or Gatling Dragon using its effect. It can also make Reaper on the Nightmare, but why? Daedalus Gate is what I am going to be hard rolling for with my three spins. This deck is really cool. It activates Reasoning and Monster Gate like normal Monster Gate, but instead of trying to go into good cards, it tries to go into Levia Dragon Daedalus, which can send an Umi from your side of the field to the graveyard to wipe everything. Hero is technically legal during GOAT format. The first wave of hero support was out, so you can play hero signal alongside the material necessary to make a thunder giant and maybe grind out opponents that way. Archfiend is one of the first original archetypes and it gets to play three copies of Snatch Deal. Sounds good, right? It's not. After that is Horus. Horus levels six and eight are really good cards and they're not hard to summon. I may be playing that as well. Mazara Deville. I know Simo's gunning for this deck. I know that Simo's gunning for this deck. It uses maybe the worst card I've ever seen. It uses a retrain of Warrior of Zera to go into maybe the most disappointing boss monster I've ever seen. And finally, Mega Rock OTK. People were very vocal about wanting to see this, a deck full of rock monsters that aims to just make a big old bungus. So using our three spins, let's see what we can get done. Reminder, I am going specifically for Daedalus Reasoning Gate, but uh, we'll see if we end up on that. Hmm. I mean, it's such a funny deck. Ah, oh, it's hilarious. No, 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 I'm gonna keep going. What the fuck? One more try here. Perfect. Well, it was bound to happen eventually. There's no way we were going to have a 100% perfect win rate in the history of Jank. So we find ourselves in the Jank tank. Gotta say, I've never worn a tank top throughout the entirety of my life. It's actually pretty comfy, but unfortunately, now you get to see how white I truly am under all the shirts. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen. If you thought you've seen Jank, you haven't seen anything yet. We are beyond scraping the bottom of the barrel. We are the gunk that is seeped through the barrel and has shit dripped into off the ship into the depths of the ocean to be eaten by the bottom feeders crawling around at the bottom. This is just an abomination. We are about to commit war crimes on camera. These eight decks 
are some of the absolute worst that Joseph and I could get our hands on, and I am so excited. These are all a disaster, and honestly, I'm excited to play any of them. I got two spins, so if I'm not super excited about my first one, I can respin, but let's go ahead and see what we get. There's a few I'm buying for in particular. Let's see what we get. Oh, do I want to start with this? This deck's so bad. This deck's so fucking bad. Okay, we're probably going to play this eventually. Uh, let's respin. I get one more spin. Hope for the best. Come on. Let's 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 have a good one. I mean, honestly, they're all equally terrible, so I don't think I can really complain. You know what? This this one's also pretty bad. So here's the list. Levia Dragon Daedalus Reasoning Gate. And boy, oh boy, does this look janky. Once again, I've ripped this card for card from a GoatFormat.com YouTube video, and the results are astounding. This is an extremely streamlined deck. It does one thing and one thing only, activates the effect of Levia Dragon Daedalus. Now, Daedalus is one of those cards that has a really shockingly good effect, but unfortunately requires an immense amount of setup. In order to send all cards in the field to the graveyard akin to Chaos Emperor Dragon, you have to have an Umi on your side of the field. A Legendary Ocean is a slightly better Umi, but a slightly better Umi is still pretty bad in this day and age. Now, you don't necessarily have to Monster Gate or Reasoning into this card because you have free specials in the form of Aqua Spirit and Fenrir, which you can then tribute for the level 6 Daedalus under a Legendary Ocean. However, that's pretty unlikely, and as a result, we are largely just playing a Reasoning Gate game plan, trying to go into something like Dark Magician of Chaos, loop cards like Dimension Fusion and Premature Burial, and maybe resolve a Daedalus on our way. This also confuses the opponent because the usual calls for uh, the reasoning are fours if they're playing stuff like Sacred Bird or eight if you want to prevent the Dark Magician of Chaos from making an appearance. While we do have a couple of fours, most of our fours can't be normal summoner set. So calling seven or six is usually out of the question, which means we are likely to resolve exactly our first copy of this card. Except Simo knows that it's on the list, so maybe not. Let me walk you through the individual cards. We've got two Abyss Soldier. I believe this is semi-limited at the time. Triple Aqua Spirit. One Dark Magician of Chaos. Three Fenrir. This is almost Yada Garasu. Three Levia Dragon Daedalus. Three copies of Legendary Ocean. Three Brain Control. A Delinquent Duo. Triple Dimension Fusion. Graceful Charity. Heavy Storm. Triple Monster Gate. Pot of Greed. Premature Burial. Three Reasoning. Three Scapegoat. Snatch Steel Terraforming. And Call of the Haunted. In the side, we have a Stein Game Plan. Uh, they're never going to call two off of your Reasoning. As well as a Jinzo. Triple Giant. True Nade, Lightning Vortex, Triple Metamorphosis if we need to play slower, Mirror Force, Ring of Destruction, Triple Royal Decree, and a Torrential Tribute. So, very excited to take this out for a spin, hoping that our games don't end in 30 seconds. Or if they do, that I'm the one winning them. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you guys wanted jank, so we are here to deliver. This is the Dark Hex Sealed Fusion, the deck. Now, there are a lot of your staple GOAT format cards in this list, but there's also a lot of nonsense in this list as well. So let's go ahead and do the card by card. First up, we've got three copies of Blowback Dragon. Once per turn, target a card your opponent controls, toss a coin three times, and if at least two are heads, you get to destroy that target. What's great is that with Dark Hex Sealed Fusion, we can actually go into Gatling Dragon very easily. So a bit of an actual powerhouse in GOAT. And so, so because we're playing the blowback dragons, we have an easy way to get there. We have Breaker, we have Jinzo, three Mystic Tomato, a Sangen. Uh, we actually can make Sandwich because we can use this to fulfill the uh, slot for Witch of the Black Forest, so that's hysterical. Three Skilled Dark Magician to get to our lone copy of Dark Magician. Actually, a couple targets here. We can not only make Dark Paladin, we could make Dark Flare Knight, although we're not playing Mirage Knight, sadly, but this is technically a viable target. And then we also have three copies of Spirit Reaper, which is an all-star in GOAT, of course, but what's nice is because of Dark Hexial Fusion, we can also make Reaper on the Nightmare, which is actually a very terrifying card because it can attack directly. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. That pretty much rounds out the monsters, though. 19 of them for the spells, two creature swap, a delinquent duo, three enemy controller, graceful charity, heavy storm, double metamorphosis, three copies of Monster Gate. This is a bit iffy because most of the time when decks play Monster Gate and Reasoning, they play as few monsters as possible to always hit their target. Target. This deck, I mean, you wouldn't really be upset about hitting most of the cards in here, but I think with this deck in particular, you would probably want to see some cards over others. Maybe not. I mean, even if you hit Dark Hex Sealed Fusion, you can then potentially go into a Fusion Summon with any other hit for the most part. So maybe it's not as bad as I think. We'll have to see. Mystical Space Typhoon, Pot of Greed, Premature Barrel, three Scapegoat for the Metamorphosis and the Monster Gate.
Gates. This is our primary fodder. Also, enemy controller. This can be good there as well. Snatch Steel, and then the traps. There's just three of them. Call the Haunted, Mirror Force, and Torrential Tribute. The side deck, two Air Knight Parsha, two Mobius, three Royal Decree, three Brain Control. A lot of taking our opponent's stuff in this deck. Lightning Vortex, double Nobleman of Crossout, and double Nobleman of Extermination as well. And we already went through the Fusion deck because all the targets in here, aside from like Thousand Eyes, maybe like a Fiend Skull or a Dark Vault or maybe Dark Blade, are actually able to be summoned off of Dark Hex Sealed Fusion. So we get to make very good use out of the Fusion deck more so than other decks. And I think that's pretty neat. So I'm excited. Joseph is going to, I'm sure, just be playing an absolute abomination as well. This looks a little bit coherent, but I'm sure Joseph's deck is just atrocious. Only one way to find out though, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to duel. Joseph, this is this is going to be a disaster. We're, we're about to just commit war crimes on camera. This is going to be awful. This is going to be terrible. Well, at least I look good for it. How's the jank tank fitting, buddy? It's actually surprisingly comfortable, I will say. Um, aside from the fact that everyone gets to see how truly pale I actually am, because uh, I'm about 10 shades lighter under the surface, but... You know, it's uh, it's not bad, but it'll look much better on you after this episode. I'm, I'm telling pretty you, buddy, I'm, I'm you glad you feel comfortable in it because you're going to have to get comfortable in it. I'm excited for this. We got a lot of really bad decks and I am praying it's not a mirror like last time because that would make for yeah. some supremely unfun gameplay. See, we think that, but then the mirrors actually end up being fun, even though people hate seeing them. But I think last episode was a bit of an exception that people were willing to forgive. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready if you are, buddy. Oh, I'm absolutely ready. All right, let's go and shout the patron. It is Jacob Hall. Thank you for for the support. Joseph, rock, paper, scissors, generators up. What you doing? I'm going to get the best possible star line call for reasoning. So let me get an eight, baby. Eight. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let me get the second best reasoning call. Four. Gonna go for the second best call. Four, and God. Uh, you should have kept with your first one, but <laughs> I guess I should have. Uh, fine, fine. All right. Definitely want to go first. Definitely want to go first against the reasoning deck. It Good could luck, be anything. Buddy. What if I'm on water control? Holy God. Oh, of course. Holy. Of course. You are so lucky Jesus. that you did go first. I have like the Christ. FTK. Well, we'll see how good the FTK is. I'm just going to set a pair and pass, buddy. Go ahead. Sure. I think you're actually going to set a couple more because I'm delinquent duoing. Yeah. All right. Uh, what are you going to pick? I don't know. Uh, what's the best card in your hand? Uh, there's a few. Hmm. Okay, well, I think it's this one. That's definitely why against your deck, actually, if you are playing the Reasoning Gate deck. I don't think it's that good. Ah, it was a breaker. <laughs> That's a pretty bad one, yeah. I guess I'll get rid of this Spirit Reaper. Well, that doesn't really give away anything. I'm it doesn't, no. Reaper doesn't. could be what? part of the Hex Sealed Fusion deck, but I don't know. Let's go with for a Terraforming. Yep. Big go surprise it, here. I'm on a Legendary Ocean! <laughs> Shocker. Never would have thought. Never right, would have thought. I'm also on Pot Agreed. <laughs> Gross. This is literally the FTK. Oh, oh yeah. And let me get another reasoning, too. We're just deck thinning sure. here. Sure. Go for it. Okay. This is where you heavy slump me. Okay. You're good. All right. Uh, I am going to activate a legendary ocean. Sounds good. I'm going to normal summon Abyss Soldier. I'm going to activate the effect pitching Abyss Soldier targeting your monster. Okay. Goes back to hand. I guess I'm going to combat. Let's just see if we can do 2K here. I'll take the 2K. That's fine. All right. Well. Back to you. I was expecting something right. a little more spicy for my first turn, but I guess I didn't get it. We'll go to main one. Uh, let's go ahead and fire off this premature burial. Sure. Bring back the breaker. Are you sure? Getting back the reaper would be very funny for me. It would be very funny. Uh, I'm just going to sack it off anyway. I've got Jinzo. That's fine. We'll hit. I'll take what? 400 here? 400, yeah. Sure. Nothing too crazy. I'll pass it over to you. Or will you at all? There we go. There we go. Stand by main. <laughs> all right. I'm going to activate premature burial of my own, targeting a Oh, perfect. And yeah, with that's Pryo, funny. I'll activate the effect, discarding a Fenrir to the graveyard to bounce your Ooh, Jinzo. Ooh, the Yada Lock, sure. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Hardly a Yada Lock. Uh, all right, let's just go to combat. I will attack again. Another 2K, sounds good. Go ahead, buddy. It's going fast. Uh, you've got two in hand. Uh, you literally just have to keep pitching waters, and that would not be good. Well, I mean, you got to run out of waters eventually, right? <laughs> so I'll just pass. All right, I didn't yet. Uh, activate the effect of Abyss Shit. Soldier again. Put it back. <laughs> Shit. Any normal summon does it, but I don't have any. So take your don't 20 have in it. peace. I'll take the 2K. Puts me down to 1,200. I'm almost dead. I'm almost not dead. Only no you, Daedalus. I was going to say, not Abyss only are Soldier you almost control. dead, you are dead to exactly one Daedalus hit. All right, go ahead, buddy. Oh, my God. Not like this. Not like this. Well, now are you out of water? 
<laughs> I mean, clearly, I would have just gone for it. Uh, oh, unless I draw a Fenrir off the top. Uh, let's bounce that <laughs> card back and go to combat. <laughs> Woo! Oh, really fantastic God. Uh, really I am that. going to econ your oh. Abyss Soldier. All right, okay, okay. Go ahead, buddy. I have one turn and I need... That will do it. Uh, heavy storm. God dang it. <laughs> All right, sure. Down goes both my Abyss Soldier and my copy of Premature Burial. Okay, now... Ugh. So you've got... Abyss Soldier's at two in this format, I believe. It's semi. It's, can you believe it's that? semi. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So your Abyss Soldiers are gone. Your Fenrirs are gone. So that doesn't leave a lot left for you to use. Oh, oh sure. God. God, it's so good. It's so good. I'm going to be disciplined. I'm going to set and pass. Oh, boo. Boo on you. I'll set and pass also. Go ahead. We'll draw. Uh, stand by main. Okay. Uh, we'll bring the Jinzo back out. There he is. Hit the 24. I'll take it. Go ahead. Stand by main. You are good. All good. Okay. All right. Turning around quickly here. Uh, let's... Uh, don't want to commit more. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, God. I, I, oh, there's so many ways this could go wrong. I'm just going to hit for 24. I'll be safe. All right. I'll scapegoat here. Sure. That's fine. And I imagine you will redeclare oh. on one. Uh, yeah, I'll take one out. Thank you very much. I'll go to second main. I will set one, and I'm going to set one of my own and pass it over. One time monster gate. <laughs> Woo, that's not a good one. All right, go ahead. Raw. Buddy, what are you playing, by the way? We're, we're about 15 yeah. cards in. I've seen Spirit Reaper, Breaker of the Magical Warrior, Premature Burial, Econ Heavy Storm, Mystic Tomato. Did you roll the same one as me, or are you just playing a good deck? I mean, it would appear that this is a good deck from what you've seen so far. I promise you it's one of the decks on the wheel. Uh, mm. You just haven't... I haven't been able to prove that as of yet. Mm. We'll see. Okay, I've got to play. I'm going to sack the Spirit Reaper for blowback dragon. And oh I think this will give God. away what I'm on. Yep, it was tech sealed fusion after all. Oh, boy. it was. So I'm going to use the blowback dragon target this goat specifically. I'm going to try to blow it up. So I need two heads here to do it. That's not a heads. That's okay, zero. so we got to go all the way now. Okay, down okay. to this last okay. coin flip. Ah, yes. Oh, we get to clear the goats. Wonderful, wonderful. No monster gate for you, yeah, buddy. We'll yeah, hit yeah. in and we'll just pass. Go ahead. All right, stand by me. Uh, I am going to heavy storm. Gross. Sure. All right, I will set one card. You are good to go. Okay, we'll draw. Probably got another goat there. Go to main one. Uh, we'll use the effect of blowback dragon. How, how lucky you feeling, buddy? It yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Not feeling that lucky. It's a 50-50, <laughs> but uh, I don't. I know better than to trust myself playing against you. But Joseph, how are you going to feel when I normal summon and the dark hex sealed fusion. <laughs> oh my god, you really wait, you could you could Oh my god, you're going for it. <laughs> Holy fuck. Wait, no. Gatling dragon, come on out, buddy. All right, three tails, three <laughs> tails. Let's go, baby. Three tails. All right, we're going to use the effect. Every heads I get, I get to blow up a monster. So if we get three, this is actually going to be crazy. All right, let's go. Let's see it. Okay. Okay, that's bad. good start. Good start. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay, all right. All right. Not as exciting. We got one. All right, Shit, okay. Let's go. Well, we get to take out one, so we'll take it, and then we'll hit the other two. Yep. And uh, second main, I'll set one and I'll pass. One time Monster Gate. I'm just begging. One time Monster Gate. <laughs> I, can I just say, I didn't even think I was going to pull Dark Hex Sealed Fusion off this entire game, so I'm shocked that it even happened. It was not Monster Game. But it was reasoning. Oh, it was something. Okay. It was brain control. Ah. Uh, Give me the fruits of your Dark Hex Sealed Fusion, my friend. Okay, so if it's three tails, I'm not dead. <laughs> Correct. Or conversely, if it's, if it's three, three heads... heads I'm also not dead, because everything dies. <laughs> All right, okay, okay, let's go. The most important coin flips of my life. Okay, there's a head. Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's enough, please. That's enough. <laughs> Cut it out. Oh! oh, it got three heads, and Joseph is in here. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, was I out of the call? You weren't in the call. Well, I reacted accordingly. I did too. All right, I guess we'll blow up the whole goddamn board. Oh, the 
editor's gonna have a field day with that one. Yeah, Holy good luck, shit. buddy. God dang it. I had so many live draws, and that was I mean, I can't be that mad. That was pretty good. All right. Oh my god. Go ahead, buddy. Oh my god. I'll draw. Okay, you're on 44. Yep. Oh my god. That was unreal. Well, we said it had to be one or the other, so I'm glad it was at least one of them, so I didn't lose immediately. I guess I'll run out a skilled dark magician. I'll hit you for 19. I guess you will. I can't believe this deck is playing this card, but it, it, it's almost even playable in Goat. Uh, it's not. You want to know why it's not playable? Uh, dark Paladin must be fusion summoned, so you can't even use Dark Hex Sealed Fusion and Dark Magician to make Dark Paladin. So, a little bit of an oversight on the creator of this deck. <laughs> What? Yep, Dark Hex Sealed Fusion does not technically fusion summon. It special summons the fusion monster from the fusion deck. So you can make Dark Flare Knight though. That's an option. That's hilarious. It's not. I wish I knew this, uh, you know, prior to picking this as my option. Uh, please don't be goat. It's not goat. It's uh, it's just Call of the Haunted. Gross. Okay. Watcha and goodbye. And we actually somehow took this first wow. game. Don't know how. Well, you know, sometimes he's in the <laughs> opener. Oh, and next uh, card, of course. All right. That would have right. been crazy. I'll get you on the oh crackback, my. buddy. I bet. I bet. How you feeling, buddy? <laughs> Not great, although I think it would have been probably one of God's biggest failings if I had won that game one, just activating the effect of uh, Abyss Soldier for five consecutive turns. All right, let's see if we can actually do what the deck was designed to this time. Yeah, I mean, you went pretty deep into your deck. The fact you didn't see any way to get any of your big cards, I'm kind of shocked. All right, uh, we're going to set one pass. Uh, we'll bring out Mystic Tomato. Yep. Show me the scapegoat. Do not have it. I'll take 14. All right, uh, I'll set one and pass. Go ahead. Anything in standby. All good. Ah, ugh, go for it. Okay. Uh, let's run out Breaker. All right, I'll torrential this. Okay, sure. I'll pass. Go ahead. Standby main. I will set one. You are good to go. Draw. Yep. Run out a Sangan. Also fine. Hit for a thousand. I will take it. Okay. And then second main, I'll set one and pass. Go ahead. Draw for turn. Stand by main. And here we go. First and foremost, I'm going to activate Terraforming. Uh, next up, I'm going to activate Brain Control Targeting Sangan. Uh, sure. That's fine. Okay. I'll take my 800. And then we'll fire off a monster gate. Yeah, that's fine. All right, I'll tribute Sangan for cost, and let's go fishing. Oh, can't summon that. Can't summon that. Okay, I can You can summon. Can <laughs> now I get to trigger my Sangan here. Yep. I'll just grab a Spirit Reaper. Okay, um, I am going to activate Abyss Soldier. I'm going to pitch a Daedalus and target this card right here. Uh, I will chain MST, pop this. It is a Dimension Fusion. Ooh, okay. Boy, that's rough. I really needed that one. Well, I guess I am going to banish the Daedalus and the Aqua Spirit in order to summon a Fenrir. Ooh, okay. Now, Fenrir doesn't get its effect unless it destroys a monster. Right, so it's that's like good. a terrible Yadagarasu. Uh, and then I'm going to yeah. get in for some amount of damage. I'll take 32. All right, what was the add-off of Sangan? Uh, it was a Spirit Reaper. All right, go ahead. I mean, you know what it is, so... Got a pretty good idea. We'll just set a few and pass. Uh, stand by main. Uh, I'm going to send Fenrir and Abyss Soldier to the graveyard <laughs> oh, to normal shit. a demock. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. What are you going to target? Uh, that's a good question, huh? Yeah, let's get the chair. You know, you you could take the Metamorphosis and go into your <laughs> own Gatling Dragon, because that went so well for you last time. I did. Uh, we'll go Charity here. Sure. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry, I'm just <laughs> shocked. All right, I'm gonna send a legendary ocean, and I'm gonna send I'm gonna send snatch steel. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Heavy. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna chain go, but I don't know if I want to chain anything else. I guess I'll econ your demock to defense. Sure. While I'm at it. And you got the torrential, buddy. Congrats. Sick. All right, that's gonna make this follow up play pretty good. I uh, have to decide some stuff here. Yeah, I also okay. get a bunch of goats. I am gonna banish a Fenrir to special Aqua Spirit. Sure. I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna attack into your set monster. All right, uh, then, God, I had an OTK, but not through goats. I will pass turn. 
During my standby phase. I'll target the Spirit Reaper. Which will immediately blow him up. Yes, sir. Uh, main one. Gee, my hand just looks incredible right now. <laughs> uh, so many options. I guess I'll set one and pass. Go ahead. All right. I will draw for turn. Stand by main. Ugh, my, oh, good. my hand's looking kind of sus, too. Um, however... <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, sure. It's it's not terrible. Oh. Mom said it's my turn to play with Pot of Greed, Joseph. <laughs> All right, buddy. Here we go. This is going to determine right. the outcome of the game right now. I activate reasoning. I mean, eight, right? Is that even the right call? If you're thinking Daedalus, he's a seven. Oh, he's a seven. Oh, okay, never mind. So then seven would be the correct call. Uh, one of your Abyss soldiers is gone because like four could actually be a number here because then you can go soldier discard. Daedalus blows up everything except himself. You haven't summoned yet. So then you can probably kill me. So I'll probably have to go for seven. I feel like that makes the most sense. Nope. 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 Okay, getting a little thin here. That's a four. Doesn't count. Nope. Nope. Keep okay. going. Keep going. Getting keep a, going. A little keep thin going. Here. Keep going. Keep milling. Keep milling, buddy. Let's go. What Let's go. Fuck? Keep going. Okay. Keep going. Damn it. Thank the Lord. Four cards in deck. Easy. That's that's way more than enough. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot. That was uh that was pretty chunky. My God. I am going to banish Aqua Spirit and Fenrir for Fenrir. And Great. you better have Gross. your out already because uh, otherwise, yeah, I'm close, but I don't think I have lethal. So I'm going to go to the battle phase. Uh, let's go Fenrir into a token. Okay. Can't draw next turn. Demok into the set card. It is Dark Hex Sealed Fusion. There he is. Abyss Soldier into a token. Aqua Spirit into a token. And uh, you are good to go. Sounds good. Uh, I'll go to main one. How about a Dark Hex Sealed Fusion? Where's the uh, fusion with uh, a goat token? Because yeah, yeah. Uh, I had the third Hex Sealed <laughs> Fusion to go with it. Fuck Three of me, a kind, dude. baby. <laughs> well... Uh, Dark Hex Sealed Fusion uh, is a wonderful card. Uh, I'm very happy that I decided to play this deck. It was a great idea, and uh, I loved it so much that I managed to see every copy of it in my, uh, you know, by the time that last game was done. So, fantastic. I'm glad we're really getting to show off what these decks are capable of, aren't you? Uh, yes, and I would say, you know, what are you whining about? The deck's called Dark Hex Sealed Fusion. Don't you want to draw You're Dark right. Hex Sealed Fusion? <laughs> I, I would like to draw exactly one Dark Hex Sealed Fusion and maybe something to actually do with it, but you know. <laughs> well, you know, you know, I I didn't even I had the spirit the reapers. Yet. <laughs> I had the targets. It just uh, it didn't happen. Good luck, buddy. Uh, let's start with a duo this time. Oh, Finally, we get cool, some of these cards. Dude. Come on. Oh no, no, you did this to me the first game. I think it's only fair I get to do this to you now. Yeah, let's but you go. Won let's that go. game. Oh we'll no, I need the snatch steal. <laughs> You oh, perfect. Perfect. I'm losing a Biss soldier here. Okay, sure. Uh, I will just set a card and I'll pass. Go ahead. I draw for turn. Stand by me. So All good. I will reveal to you. I boarded out of a Levia Dragon Dedulous last match. So there wow. was one How dare you? reasoning target remaining in my game when I fired it <laughs> off. <laughs> completely dead in the water if, uh, if it was the last card in my deck. Mm, how do I want to do this? This is a very hard one. All right, uh, we are going to begin with a Graceful Charity. Oh, oh so hard. Ah, yeah. It's so interesting. Fine. All right, it actually got a lot easier. <laughs> the last three <laughs> seconds have been pretty good for me. All right, we're going to pitch a, a Dark Magician of Chaos. and. Uh, oh, great. Uh, you know, I love the card. I think the Terraforming might have to go here. Sure. All, All right. right, Premature Burial, if buddy. If you insist, I will Premature yeah, Burial. Of course. We'll bring back Whatever. the Democ. Uh, we'll trigger get the, the graceful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We could get it. You want a Legendary Ocean. You want, oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, no, no. Yeah, you want yeah. uh, Terraforming. Sorry. You didn't pitch a Legendary Ocean. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this deck's the best deck in the game if you have Democ Double Graceful Charity. I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. This could, uh, this could be anything. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, Christ. Okay. Uh, actually, this is not as good of a hand as I had hoped. Okay. Um, We're going to send. Oh, boo hoo. We're going to send Brain Control. Oh, this is so bad, actually. Um, Monster Gate. Oh, just terrible sends. All right. So um, we actually haven't performed our normal summon yet. Uh, Correct. This is hilarious. So we're going to go ALO. Okay. We're going to tribute for Levia Dragon. Oh, my it's a God. Six. It's a six. It is a six. And it is we'll a six. You're going to nuke? Oh, yeah. All right. 
absolutely. You got the Spirit Reaper. I Congratulations. I was like, if it's not Spirit Reaper, we win, but I know it's Spirit Reaper. Uh, anyway, I might You know, Demok anyway. could have also cleared that. Oh, that's why. Oh, great. Fantastic. Great. Demok Good game. <laughs> this was fun. Demok could not have fun. cleared it. Uh. Yes, it can. It banishes. Well, it banishes. It has to destroy Oh, wait, no. It's when it's destroyed. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never okay. mind. I'm going to get roasted in the comments for that. Go ahead. Uh, get your graceful charity back for the third goddamn time. That's actually not the play. Uh, let me do some math here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll just get the uh, premature burial to my hand. Oh, sure. Yeah. And then you just get your abyss soldier and I'm dead. <laughs> that's that's the play. That's the idea. God. <laughs> well, this was a fun game. I'm really happy this that we uh, lined this one up. <laughs> really fun <happy>. game. Glad, <laughs> glad that we did it. Uh, anyone's game. It could have gone either Congratulations. Way, <laughs> Woo! What, a, what an interesting one. Uh, in the oh, yeah. Sense. You are so screwed next turn, oh, I by know. the way. Oh, I am. Holy shit. I really was. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. What a what a God. miserable match. <laughs> oh, oh, it actually got better. I was going to draw creature swap as well. So, oh, oh yeah. You were actually just toast, but damn, that was that was insane. That but was, I mean, again, that like that wasn't even the deck. That was just Demok Graceful Charity is all that was. Yeah. Like in all reality, like you could have thrown that into any deck and that probably would have won. I mean, I guess this deck had the attack power to be able to win immediately. I guess not a lot of decks do, but... You know, to be fair, like that was what did all the heavy lifting. The Levia just nuking the Reaper. I, I guess was, that also mattered say, too, because otherwise. Levia's job in this game was to be exactly Nobleman of Crossout. Like it could have <laughs> been, been anything. Well, Abyss Soldier could have done the same thing exactly, if you had another water, right. but oh, I don't know God. if this was a water. Last or not. card is Monster Gate. Uh, oh, okay. What would have so. been the uh, Monster Gate hit? Let's find out. If it was another Levia, I'll be very happy. Um, nope, not her. Nope, that doesn't hit. Yeah, there we oh, go. Per <laughs> oh, so, yeah, so there you were just nothing. destined to win this game no matter what. Jeez uh, Louise. This was, this was fun, though. This, this was, was fun. Uh, we... We got to show off what both of these decks are uh, capable of doing. I don't know. I think I'm stretching that very, uh, very far along with my deck. I'm because glad you got to summon just a goat deck. Dragon. I, yeah, exactly. That's like, because look, these last two games, I didn't get to do jack shit with Dark Hex Sealed Fusion. <laughs> and you're, you're kind uh, of seeing why Dark Hex Sealed Fusion, despite being one of, like a really powerful card in a vacuum, uh, is not very good. Uh, no. Because back no. in DM, you know, nowadays, uh, fusion monsters have materials that are like one Xyz monster or one monster with 1500 attack. Back in the right. day, uh, fusion material was like mystical sheep number two. So you had yep. to fucking play barrel dragon and blowback dragon if you wanted access to this extremely powerful card. Reaper on the nightmare, another great one. Reaper, great card. Uh, nightmare horse, not as strong. Oh my God, sandwich. <laughs> I can make sandwiches in this bam. deck, Joseph, because I play Sangue. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. Uh, that almost came up in the last game, actually. If you did not take my Sangue to monster gate it, I was because I had so many copies of Dark Hexial no, Fusion. I was thinking I might as well. It's the Dark Hexial Fusion deck, so we might as well go for it. I'm still so annoyed at this Dark Paladin thing. This is so frustrating <laughs> that this doesn't work. Well, so I saw the Dark Paladin and I was like, oh my god, this card's crazy. That's why you're playing skilled Dark Magician. I think you're also on a Dark Magician, right? Oh, I sided them out oh, after good. game one. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not playing these cards because there's. No, I'm not going to sub. So I, I would have at least given this deck a little bit more. Cr I could have summoned Dark Flare Knight Which has if less this deck attack. was. If this deck was legitimately playing Mirage Knight, I would have considered it, but oh it's not. God. So it's not based enough or not jank enough by that description to be able to actually play Mirage Knight, even in the side deck. How disappointing, <laughs> what right? A, what a what a fun strategy. Uh, I th this I think exemplifies one of the parts of. Uh, jank Yu-Gi-Oh brews that was like a mainstay of playing with yeah. your friends on playgrounds is getting into a long ass argument about if it works the way you want. Uh, right. Like Dark exactly. Paladin, for all intents and purposes, should be summonable off of the Dark Hex Sealed Fusion. And it's one of right. like two cards at this time that has the text must be fusion summoned. Correct. But, you know, it doesn't for whatever reason. It doesn't. And like and like middle schoolers aren't going to be able to decipher, you know, PSC. Well, there was no PSCT back then, right. so that wasn't even a, ra a factor. But yeah, it's just it's so dumb. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's in the spirit of the show, right? And... <laughs> 
I, can I just say, I love that this deck is playing Monster Gate because typically decks that play Monster Gate are like yours, right? Yeah. They play about seven monsters. Maybe I, Actually, they play about, you know, two monsters that are actually summonable off of the Monster Gate and the rest are just cards that it's going to miss over, like in your case, the Aqua Spirits and the Fenrirs, mm -hmm. hoping to actually get to that card 100% of the time. This deck's just playing Monster Gate, I think, to get to literally any fusion material and Dark Hexseal fusion, because if you're sacking a scapegoat for Monster Gate, you really don't care what you're hitting. And honestly, a lot of the cards in this deck are kind of big. Like, if you hit a blowback dragon off of a Monster Gate, good. you feel kind of good about it, right? <laughs> uh, that's so funny that it's like, yeah, so my deck is playing a Monster Gate to OTK. Your deck is playing Monster Gate to try and find a better deck. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> oh, Basically. that's great. And, I, uh, yeah, so this deck's playing like 19 monsters, but... <laughs> Yeah, and Monster Gate in 19 Monsters just does not compute with me. But after I looked at it some more, I was like, okay. Like, and anything else, like, you hit basically gets you to something you need. Like, if you hit a Tomato or a Sangen, That's then fine. it gets you to Dark Hex Sealed Fusion or, like, a Spirit Reaper to be able to go into some of the fusions, right? Mm -hmm. I guess. I mean, it's there. There's also, like, the creature swaps and stuff to be able to, like, just sack off your stuff, too. But what a wacky deck. What a absolutely wild. I love how this turn also, by the way, started with me duoing you, and then this was the end result. <laughs> It's just a fantastic fucking time. <laughs> just absolute joy. Oh, my God. I will say um, the the funniest part of this deck is that it gets to play some cards that are secretly, like, super strong. Like, in goat decks, you don't see Spirit Reaper very often, or maybe you see it as a one, one of. You don't see Blowback Dragon really often because there are some better monarchs and, like, tribute monsters like Jinzo. Jinzo, But uh, yeah. right under the uh, level of playability of those cards, Reaper, Blowback Dragon, those are crazy strong. They're really, sure. really good cards. So you do get to kind of utilize like the underused pool of good stuff that lurks just under the surface of Goat. You're just doing it in the same deck as the fucking unsummonable Dark Paladin. <laughs> It's funny because when you started that statement, I thought you were talking about your deck because like Leviathan Dragon is just absurd, right? It's just yeah. like an entire board wipe if you commit your deck to playing ALO. And then Abyss Soldier, it's semi-limited. It's semi-limited. No, like um, I, I, if we're talking about my deck, I love it. I love playing Reasoning Gate. I'm one of those sickos. Um, so I was happy to have gotten it. And there's a couple cards in here that I think are just criminally underplayed. Uh, Aqua Spirit is really good in Reaper format because as you yes. saw, its interaction with Reaper is just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Fenrir yes. is a legal Yadagarasu uh, under yep. very specific conditions. Doesn't trigger too often, but it triggers the most in the format with Scapegoat in it. Right. And uh, right. Abyss Soldier, like you said, like if you have the right hand, you can just tempo him out of the game in you know, one or two turns just by doing what I did in game one and pitching one monster per turn, hitting your normal yep. summon. And there's not a lot that contests an 1800 attack monster in this uh, in this format. Not a ton of skilled dark magicians running around. No, exactly. I mean, his stat line is just crazy for how strong the effect is as well. Mm -hmm. And so you throw it all together with some reasonings and some monster gates and here you go. I was vying for a different reasoning gate deck that we have on our wheel, but unfortunately oh, yeah. we didn't get that one. Yeah, maybe, maybe next time though, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens but i'm excited joseph we still have so many decks to go through did you did you get this your first spin i got it my ask. third spin uh oh wow so we almost didn't see it okay my first two spins were hino kagatsuchi mine was too <laughs> <laughs> we almost got the mirror but we didn't want to play that fucking deck <laughs> oh my god it's so bad it's, it's i mean if you go <laughs> double gilosaurus into hino kagatsuchi yeah, you probably good. deserve to win right i mean it's but, not good yeah. in a different way than like uh the great mazara deville deck isn't good it's not <laughs> even funny so guys that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of the history of jank be sure to tune in next time because if you want to see more atrocious decks we have them in store. But we have to shout the patrons. As always, a big shout to Shout1317, Moto, Sean Arling Jr., Cameron Smith, and Gayoko, Tim Zero Zero X3, Ike Iron Fang, Pony Starkey, and Musa, Michael Dente, Part 2, Dan the Man Hoban, Sinker Guy, Ole, Mystic Walk, Sylvia Wilds, Draconic Rock Slide, Dolly Wap, Logan Thomas, Peter Gregory, Thomas Nelson, Cole T, Jordan Coons, Kelvin, Iron Blazeman, Pure Ace, Jesse Wood, True Nerd Gasm, Brother Paul, Chris Hood, Lumpy, Nehru Celeste, David Liu, Rockley325, Yusuf Aslan05, Lane Rogers, Chat God, Silent Agent 216, I Side and Grand Maju and Salad, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, Brett Harvey, John Two based Apathy Astro, Bro Brody Eastwood, Day Sir, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Give Me Speed Order, Give Me Death, MBT's Hard Leg, Assling Jensen, TC Gaming, Matthew Brady, Edison Format, and Tom Russell. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.